हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टाइनल एजेंट्स राइट विच इज देयर इन द यूनिट थ्री ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री सेमेस्टर वन बी फार्मेसी राइट सो व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द जीआईटी एजेंट्स राइट सो व्हाट इज व्हाट इज द शॉर्ट फॉर्म ऑफ गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टाइनल एजेंट्स जीआईटी एजेंट राइट सो दीज आर नथिंग बट डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम राइट इट इज नथिंग बट डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम uh is the gastrointestinal tract that is in short we can say git right that's what gastrointestinal tract it start from the esophagus to anus right so when we talk about the uh, git there, there will be the stomach then is uh, duodenum jejunum esophagus small intestine large intestine rectus anus right so this we have seen already so uh, the the main part of git gastrointestinal tract it is stomach the first one small intestine the inner one large intestine the outer one then rectus then anus right so this entire part it is called a git so these things only we are uh, the agents the chemical which will give the therapeutic property in the gastrointestinal tract that why only we are going to discuss in unit 3 so when we talk about the classification of git agents the first one comes the acidifying agent or acidifiers right acidifying means that's what acidifying acidifiers purifying purifiers like that okay so uh, which is going to form the acids right into the uh, into the uh, git so those are called the acidifier for example dilute hydrochloric acid is there ammonium chloride it is there right then coming to the second one anti acid so these are the anti acid anti inflammatory anti diabetic right so anti inflammatory means which will reduce the inflammation here that's what which will reduce the acid content into the uh, different part of git right for example here sodium bicarbonate right it is the example of anti acid amun uh, the aluminum hydroxide gel then magnesium di uh, the magnesium hydroxide so these three are the example of anti acid which will form the acid in stomach okay uh, sorry which will reduce the acid in stomach that's what okay like uh, we are having eno and uh, all those things right coming to the third one laxative catharetics and purgative so these are the agent which will form uh, which will help to form the fecus and uh, uh in uh, when we talk about uh, laxative then uh, catharetics uh, uh, it will useful into the constipations and purgative also it is forming stool formation it will help uh, so examples of uh, these things is magnesium sulfate and then sodium orthophosphate so, and uh, coming to the fourth one adsorbent and protectives so for this uh, there is example of choline and bentonite mineral drug okay coming to the fifth one antimicrobials we are having kemenophore potassium permanganate boric acid hydrogen peroxide chlorinated lime and iodine and its preparation so these things we can consider as a acidifying agents right so now coming to the acidifying agent or acidifier the first thing which we are going to discuss that is the uh, first one in the git agent classification acidifying agent so these are the drug or agent which are able to increase acidity in git right increase acidity in git right that's what we need sometimes we need the uh, acid to increase over there so in that case we are using the acidifiers some of these drugs are used to increase metabolic acidosis whereas some to increase the gastric hydrochloric acid right so it's a different purpose we will be having into git some that's what the ultimately goal is to increase the acid content over there right so the first one which we are going to discuss under this it is the uh, hydrochloric acid right so when we talk about the hydrochloric acid uh, the first example that is uh dilute hcl the formula which we are going to uh, see it is the the formula hcl right molecular weight 36.46 ingredient when we talk about hcl and the purified water will be there hcl will be 35 to not less than 35 weight by weight percentage and not more than 38 weight by weight percentage should be there with the purified water that is going to be the ingredient of dilute hydrochloric acid which we are going to use for acid fire how we are going to prepare the method of preparation is very very important in every of the this uh, git agents the first one when we react the sodium chloride with the sulfuric acid right na uh, nacl plus h2so4 this uh, cl and h it will form the hydrochloric acid and uh, sodium bisulfite nahso4 right nah 1h so4 nahs4 na hydrochloric acid is going to form Uh, this sodium bisulfite will again if it will react with the sodium chloride it is going to form the sodium sulfate na2so4 
plus hydrochloric acid it is going to form once again hydrogen and cl it is going to come this side and na2 hydrogen 2 uh, sodium and the so4 it is going to come sodium sulfate right so this happen like in laboratory sodium chloride and h2so4 when we are heating into the iron pan what will happen uh, hcl gas passed in the tower there will be the tower in the setup in the preparation right and uh, this hcl we have to spread with water and uh, we are going to get the dilute hydrochloric acid whereas the second method uh, in the when, when whenever we are preparing the manufacturing of caustic soda the hydrogen ion uh, electrolysis is going to take place hydrogen ion and chloride and we, after uh, joining them uh, they are going to make the uh, hydrochloric acid right during manufacture of caustic soda so this is also uh, we are doing in the lab coming to the property of hydrochloric acid it is colorless strongly acidic soluble in water alcohol and uh, its specific gravity is going to be 1.18 so this thing we can write in property coming to the assay how we are going to purify uh, how we are going to check the purity of uh, hydrochloric acid that we are going to see here so when we talk about assay 4 gram of hydrochloric acid if you dissolve with the 40 ml of water and titrate with the one normal sodium hydroxide uh, with the methylene orange indicator we will get the purity uh, we'll be having the standard reading of the pure hydrochloric acid and uh, the given sample of the acid we are we are going to match the reading of the titrated value and we can uh, uh, conclude that whether it is pure or what sodium hydroxide plus hcl that's what it is going to happen right nacl so nacl is going to form by removal of water molecule so this reaction you have to write in the assay the storage when we talk about well closed container of glass right glass container we are going to use well closed but below 30 degree centigrade the temperature we need to uh, look after here coming to the uses uh, it is used in the as a pharmaceutical ad uh, it is used as a acidifying agent that's what we are studying as example of acidifier or acidifying agent then gastric acidifier yes the same thing it is telling about it can be used as a solvent and uh, catalyzed for the different reactions right so this is the uh, hydrochloric acids now coming to the the another example of uh, we have seen in the another example now here uh, in this classification acidifier dilute hydrochloric acid and ammonium chloride so the second example it is the ammonium chloride when we talk about uh, it is also acidifier the molecular formula monograph when we when we talk molecular formula is nh4cl the molecular weight is 53.50 gram per mole right that this thing you need to write whenever you are describing this physical property it is white fine coarse uh, crystalline powder it is odorless and uh, it, it gives the cooling and salty taste. The taste is also very, very important. Uh, when we talk about the solubility under physical property, it is soluble in water and the melting, melting point it is going to be 338 degrees centigrade and uh, pH is going to be 4.6 of this particular uh, ammonium chloride coming to the chemical property when we talk about chemical property uh, so ammonium chloride when it will be heated uh, it is going to release the ammonia and uh, hydrogen chloride nh3 and uh, hcl that's what one h form nh4 and cl they will become hcl and nh3 it is going to release right second method what we can do here uh, sorry uh, second thing what is possible with the uh, ammonium chloride is under chemical property nh4cl when it will react with the sodium hydroxide it is going to form nh3 first of all then this h and this o2 it will become water and na and cl it is going to become the sodium chloride so that is the one property the another thing here also it is possible this nh4cl two molecule of ammonium chloride it is going to react with the sodium carbonate and it is going to form the uh, sodium chloride carbon dioxide water and uh, ammonia two molecular ammonia the another third thing which is possible with the uh, chemical property of ammonium chloride ammonia and chloride and when they will react with the water and uh, it is going to have the ammonium hydroxide and uh, by removal of hydronium ion and chloride ion right so these are the uh, reaction it is possible which you can write into the chemical property of ammonia now coming to the most, uh, most important thing is the uh, preparation preparation of uh, ammonium chloride right so when we talk about the preparation we need to have again the certain uh, set of reactions we need to write over here right when we talk about preparation when ammonia is reacting with the hydrogen chloride either in the gas form or in the water form 
NH3 plus HCl, it is going to form NH4Cl, ammonium chloride in solid form. Right, so in that we need to have this setup, right, first of all, the gas washing bottle where we are going to fill the ammonium and uh, ammonia and uh, hydrogen chloride, right, so uh, the, in the, either maybe in the gas form or in the, what you call, uh, uh, water form. So after condensation, uh, this ammonia, uh, it is going to uh, accumulate over here, uh, that will be in the solid form, right, so ammonium chloride. So this gas washing bottle, this setup, uh, we can have, uh, in this we are going to put the, ammonia and uh, hydrogen uh, hydrogen chloride so we are going to get the ammonium chloride as a solid form the second uh, method which we can adopt a carbon dioxide when it when it will uh, uh, react with the uh, along with the ammonia sodium chloride and water it uh, it is going to form the uh, two molecule of ammonium chloride and uh, sodium carbonate sodium bicarbonate right uh, this is going to have the uh, this thing uh, it is called uh, this this uh, reaction is called uh, here the third reaction which we are going to have is the sodium chloride plus ammonium bicarbonate okay when we uh, react with this uh, sodium chloride is uh, ammonium chloride is going to form and uh, sodium bicarbonate also it is going to form so this is the third uh, method of preparation when we talk about the application it is used in the expectorant in cough medicine acidifying agent in uh, and alkalosis cases right uh, wherever the uh, the base content will more the acidifying agent it can be reduced the base content and it can try to neutralize the things right maintain urine at uh, an acid ph it, if it is required right because it is increasing the acid in the treatment of urinary tract infection in that case in those days uh, the acid ph can be maintained of urine by the acidifying agent right so it is having a certain set of pharmaceutical and medicinal use that's very very important so today we have discussed about the acidifying agents or acidifiers so the examples is dilute hydrochloric acid and uh, ammonium chloride right thank you students